stupid, yeah. they're told not to do anything. But well, I, I guess where the, I guess it's a razor's edge in some ways because you're saying you're going to negotiate free and fair deals. But okay, let's say we limit some of the imports from China, Vietnam, depending on what the product happens to be. That also means American consumers are going to end up paying more. Well, no. How do you manage not, that? Because we're going to have more jobs. And you know what? You may pay a little bit more, but you're going to have better jobs and you're going to have more jobs. People never say that. You know, these people that don't know what they're doing, you know, I'm a free trader, okay? But the problem with free trade is you have to have leaders on your side that know what the hell's going on. They don't know what's going on. And we don't have those leaders. We have leaders that don't have a clue. You look at what's happening. You know, I use the It's just one company. I hate to pick on them all the time, but I talk about Ford. I talk about Nabisco. I talk about carrier air conditioner. They're moving to Mexico. They let go of 1,400 people, wonderful people. I watched it. I watched it on screen. So when they want to bring their products back, what do we do? We do nothing. We let them come in. No tax, no nothing. They fire everybody. They move to Mexico. They make their air conditions. They sell them across the border, which now is going to be a very strong border, folks, by the way. It's not going to be... Watch this. Wait. Watch this. Are Who's you guys gonna ready? For it? Who's going to pay for the wall? And by the way, by the way, 100%. You know, the politicians say they'll never pay. 100%. They're not going to write us a check, but... They'll pay. They'll pay. In one form or another. They may even write us a check by the time they see what happens. They may. You know? So let me, let me go know, back to getting... John. Yeah. I have great respect, and the Hispanics, you saw in Nevada, I won the poll with the Hispanics and a lot, because I'm going to produce jobs. They want jobs. People that are here legally want jobs. But, but let me just tell you, Mexico, I have good relationships. The problem is their leaders are too smart and too cunning for our leaders. Our leaders don't know what we're doing. And Mexico, we're going to build the wall. But let me tell you, without the wall, Mexico could stop 90% of the problems just by being tough. They don't want to stop. How long would it take you to build? Because to their advantage. How long? Your president... It's your first day in office. How long will it be till that wall's complete? Well, it'll be, I would say, it'll be complete within two years from the time we start. We'll start quickly. We'll start quickly. And it'll be a real wall. It'll be a real wall. But I'll, I'll tell you this. Last week, I was endorsed by 16,500 Border Patrol people. First time. And, of course... A month ago, a couple of months ago, Sheriff Joe, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, who's phenomenal. And he knows about, this guy knows about the borders, right, folks? But Sheriff Joe endorsed me. But 16,500 Border Patrol people, they've never endorsed any presidential candidate before. Yeah. And they endorsed me because they know, you know, they want to do their job. When you let them do their job and when you put pressure on Mexico to stop what's going on, you're going to need the wall. You're going to always want the wall. But you know what? It will not be nearly as necessary. Let as me go back right. to the economy.